Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. So, uh, we have, have a chip here, and the selector is useful for stuff like modes. So, you can go and get a signal and say, I want it to be on B mode. And now it's on B mode, and it will send a signal from B mode and not from A mode. Um, which is cool, and you can do stuff like uh, wire it into next. And if I give it a few more, you can have up to 10 slots. And if I keep going next, it will go next until it loops around to the beginning. Like that. And uh, you can do that for the previous, and it will loop around to the end, which is all fine. Um, however, there's only you can only use 10. So there's a number of ways of getting more than 10 slots out of something like this. Um, the one I tend to use is a timeline. I put it onto beats mode by clicking on the time. And then you get these columns. And then you can tweak the timeline and go to the beat and sidebar options and change meter numerator to 1. And now you've got a number for each column. So like this is mode one, that's mode two, that's mode three and so on. And you can have like just tons of these. Um, or, inst or instead of doing that, you can put it onto clock time and you can like zoom in with L1 and right on the D-pad and left like shrinks it and so you kind of zoom in. And now you can get individual frames. So like Dreams works on 30 frames in a second for running logic and it's like 60 frames a second for running um, graphics and so on. Uh, and you could do individual frames of stuff in here. So like that's uh, the fifth frame would be here, tenth frame is here and so on. So you can fit like absolutely tons of um, of columns if you do it this way. Most of the time you don't need the don't need that many columns so I just tend to do it this way anyway and then shrink it down again and now we've got columns so if you had a um, a value slider wired into the timeline um, the timeline playhead so like while you're holding a wire then this extra little input c comes out of the playhead and you wire it in there and then when you send it a percentage it'll just set it to that percentage of the way through the timeline. So 100% would be at the end, 0% to the beginning, and 0.6 would be around 0.6 of the whole timeline. If this had 10 columns, then each of these would correspond to one column. And then if you go, let's put a switch on here, and then another switch, another switch, then each of these would just light up one switch and send a signal out of that. So now you've got like, you set the mode by sending it 0.3 and then it will send the the fourth thing. So if you like actually change that so it goes to zero. There you go. So if you set this to 0, 0.0, then you're on the zero column. 0 0.1, you're on the, the one column and so on. So, uh, but another way of like generating that percentage would be to uh, like, say you've got a, a number, like a proper number, like 12, and there are 15 columns. So you divide that 12 by 15. And then wire that in and make sure this has got 15 columns. We should go up to the 14 mark there. And then uh, when that's 12, it will go to the 12 column. I'll put it up there. And then if you go down to 5, it's on the 5 column. And the 5 switch will work and you can wire that into stuff. Um, another way of doing this, which might be easier to like manipulate, is to use a counter and set that to have the maximum as the target value. So there's 15 columns. So set this to 15. 
and then there's the current count, and then it sends like that fraction as a percentage out of count progress. So you wire that in there. So now one corresponds to one, two corresponds to two, and so on. And that all works the same. So that's the way I'd normally do it with a timeline. And then you can have any number of uh, things, but you'll have to do kind of, if you need looping and things, then you have to do that separately uh, to process um, and give you the right percentage for the right column you want. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to learn something new every day.